Hi everybody, John Paul Brionis here from InMotion Hosting and thank you for joining us for another video in our cPanel series. Today I'm going to show you how to set up an autoresponder in cPanel. Begin by logging into your cPanel. Alright, once you've logged in, we're going to click the autoresponders button in the mail section. Let's go ahead and click that. When you do that, you're going to see any current autoresponders already set up will be listed here. As you see, I have one for this admin email address already existing. Since we're creating an additional one or a new one, we're going to click the add autoresponder button here. When you do that, you're going to see this, this uh, page come up and it's the modify or add an autoresponder page. Uh, typically the character set you're going to want to leave the same. If you have a specific reason to change the character set, you can go ahead and do that here. There's many options to choose from. In the interval section, you can enter an hour amount. For example, if you put 24 hours, if a person emails you three times in a 24 hour period, they would only receive one notification or a one auto response. And essentially that's to stop you from responding over and over again with the same response to the same email address. And so I normally put either 24 hours or possibly 12 hours. Uh, 24 hours, of course, would be one day. So they would only get one response a day if they emailed you multiple times. And once again, it's up to you, but typically I like to do 12 or 24 hours. Here's where you put the actual email address that you want. In my, I'm just going to put a test at example.com. In the from field, this is who the email address is going to be from in the email message that is sent in the response. So I'm normally just going to say admin um, address or something like that. But you could put the name of your business there or you could say auto response from. In the subject line, essentially it's what's going to be in the subject line of the email. I normally put what you're um, out of the office for. And so normally I'll put out of the office something like that or you could say on vacation or you could say this email address has changed whatever the response is I normally like to put a very specific subject line so that the way the person receiving the email knows that it's uh, it's from you and they know right away what's going on so I normally put out of the office or on vacation or something like that it's up to you in the next uh, there's a checkbox here and it's for HTML if you want to put HTML formatting in the email or in the body of the email you can check that box which lets you add HTML formatting Keep in mind that the recipient may not have HTML email formatting allowed in their email client, so it may not display the way that you want it to display. It's based on the recipient's preferences, though. I normally just use plain text, just because not everyone has HTML, the ability to, to check HTML emails or display them. Uh, in the body is where you actually put the contents of the email. And I'm just going to put, John will be out of the office until next week that way whoever sends an email to test at example.com will get this email from this person admin address uh, with a subject out of the office and it will let them know I'll be out of the office till next week here in the start and stop fields you can choose if you want this to begin immediately which is normally the case you can also set up a custom time if you wanted to actually set a specific date and time for this to begin, possibly have it begin on the Monday morning or the Friday when you're out and then have it turn back off on, say, the, the Sunday night or the Monday morning really early. Uh, but it's up to you. I normally do it immediately because I'm just setting it up right now because this is when I need it. Once you've made all your choices and filled in the fields, go ahead and click the create slash modify button at the bottom. And you'll see this message. You have successfully created... Uh, it'll list the email address you created the autoresponder for, and it'll tell you that you it's it's been created successfully. At this point, the autoresponder will begin working, and anyone who emails test at example.com will receive that response. If you click the go back button, you'll now see it listed there along with the other one that I had already created. Thank you for joining us for another video in our cPanel series. Feel free to like this video and comment below so we can bring you more great videos in the future. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? Something for everyone, from beginners to experts. 
Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.